the asshole for ruining my girlfriend's sister's birthday party. Me, 29 male, and Tori, 28 female, have been together for two years and have lived together the last year. When we met, we both worked full time. Tori encouraged me to go back to school to get my MBA because in my field, it's a big thing to have it. Due to this, she is the major breadwinner and I work part time coaching slash bartending in order to chip in financially. And I do most of the housework as well. She pays the rent while I pay for school and whatever is left, I give to her. We are perfectly happy with this temporary arrangement, but her family isn't. Her sister Madison, 31 female, especially hates it and constantly makes rude comments while I'm in earshot, saying her sister can do better and that I'm a freeloader. Tori defends me every time and says it's her choice to invest in us and it's only temporary. So we get invited to Madison's birthday dinner. I initially refuse because I don't like her and it would be more cheaper for me to stay at home. Tori begs me to go and I agree. Bad idea. During dinner, Madison has quite a few margaritas. Our bill comes and Tori grabs it and puts her card down and the waiter takes it. Madison rolls her eyes and scoffs. Tori asks her what's wrong and in front of the entire group of people, Madison says, I would never pay for a man like you do. I felt a rush of anger and I under my breath say, yeah, maybe that's why you can't keep a man. Ouch. Madison asked if I had something to say and I said I did. I stood up and said, you can't keep a man. Your husband left you and your kid because you are rude, ugly and have no future. No man would wanna invest in someone like you. You asked us to watch your kid all the time so you can hang out with random guys off Tinder because you're so desperate. Oh, that's going to burn. I turn and walk out the door to almost dead silence at the table. Tori says something to Madison and runs after me. I tell her I'm leaving and she says that's fine, she's going to come with. I guess the whole dinner ended shortly after because Madison cried and people felt uncomfortable. Tori's mom is furious saying I ruined the dinner. Tori is stuck in the middle saying I shouldn't have done that, but also she's saying that she doesn't blame me. So am I the asshole? Now here's what the people had to say. Everyone sucks here, don't start none and won't be none, but you dropped a sledgehammer on a gnat. Now someone else said, more like he dropped a sledgehammer into a pile of manure. Someone else said, I agree, everyone sucks here, but it's death by a thousand cuts. One day you just have enough. Someone else said, justified asshole. I think so, we really need a justified asshole designation. Now someone else said, I'm on team Tori on this one like yeah she had it coming but was a big oof and probably a bit too much. Someone else said she's been making sexist remarks at him for ages. Him clapping back makes him an asshole. Now here's my absolute favorite comment. I mean play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I couldn't agree more. That's what I think on this whole situation. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Now tell me your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments watching it would mean a lot if you could subscribe for more future videos and you could hit the like button if you're enjoying the video if you don't like something about it you can always tell me in the comments the asshole for making a cake for my best friend's birthday and not telling her family also this story was sent by a subscriber i and my best friend are very close we have known each other since we were five years old and now we're in high school her birthday was last wednesday she told me everything that she wanted for her birthday so i bought her two gifts and i wanted to make her a cake too she told me what kind of cake she wanted i'm really into baking so i made the cake now here's where the family part comes over and a little backstory on her family her family does not like me very much because they thought that I am a bad influence on her. Her sister hated me the most because her boyfriend started dating me when they broke up. Like I didn't even know they were dating. So back to the cake. I brought the cake to her house and her family was there too. I saw that there was the same cake that I made for her. My best friend said when she saw me, Oh, I didn't know you were making a cake. Looks like I have two cakes for my birthday. We both laughed, but her sister was mad and they started yelling at me for not telling them that I'm bringing her a cake. Her mom told me to get out of her house. My best friend started yelling at her family saying, This is my house and my best friend is allowed to come and bring me anything she likes. And you, mom, stop telling her to get out. If you are so mad, get out of my house. I had never seen my best friend this mad. Her family was so mad that they just left. My bestie said to me, let's celebrate her birthday. So basically means let's get this party started. So we called our other friends and they came and we had the best party. 
After the party, I went home and I got a text from my bestie saying she is sorry that her family behaved like that. I replied back that it was okay and a happy birthday. So tell me, am I the asshole here? Now here's what I think. She could have told them that she was bringing a cake, but not telling them wasn't a big deal either. Like the best friend didn't mind it. I think her family already didn't like her, so they just got an excuse to yell at her and maybe kick her out of the birthday. So guys, tell me your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments. I would like to apologize if you think that my explanations are a little weird or vague because I've never really been good at explaining things or trying to tell people how I feel about a situation. So hopefully in the future or over time it does get better. So until it does get better, I hope you guys put up with me and not think that I'm weird or anything. Am I the asshole for blocking a guy I promised to stay besides? This story was sent by a subscriber, so super excited. For context, I met this guy Luke online in a study group, and since we were in the same grade, we instantly became friends. We'd chat every day for hours, and I even worked around his schedule so we could chat more. Things were great for quite some time. A few days into the relationship, he told me he was depressed and about his problems in his past relationships. The topic of depression is something I take quite seriously and I honestly wanted to help him regardless of whether or not he was actually lying about it. We'd have many conversations where he was being insecure and I'd reassure him by saying I liked him and that I'd stay with him. I would stay up at nights worried out of my mind because he'd suddenly say he'd cut contact and that he would not respond to my messages. And these conversations would start with him being sad about something his ex said to him before. He would also say that he'd not eaten for 8 days and stuff like that and it got me really worried about him. Around two months later though, he barely even talked to me. He would give me short replies and just not care about chatting, so I decided to let him come to me since I had always been the one to text first and make the effort. I did this from the very beginning by the way. He would never text first. He didn't text me and we didn't talk for two months and then he finally texted me saying he missed me. By this time, I was convinced he had found a replacement for me and only came back because he lost his replacement. Plus, I was doing fine even after letting him go. I still feel like I couldn't cut him off though since I felt sad for him so I kept my distance and only replied when needed. I slowly started to give in though and went back to chasing after him. Now him, on the other hand, he didn't seem to care much. He went back to those short replies and barely put in any effort. My elder sister knew all about this and she would read our chat with my permission since she disliked him. She hated the way he would treat me when I would put in my all for him. At one point she had enough and told my mom, again with my permission, about him and forced me to block him. I can still unblock him but I honestly care more about my sister and how disappointed she'd be in me if I unblock him. After all, she trusted me not to do so and let me keep my phone. So I don't plan on getting back into contact with him again but now I feel guilty since I promised to stay with him so am I the asshole? Now here's my humble opinion on this. I think your sister did good on forcing you to block him because I feel like he was leeching off you. like. This dude is just negativity everywhere. I've been with people like this guy. Like, I will promise my all and give everything into this conversation, into this friendship. And then later on, they just use you. And once they do not need you, they're just going to dump you and find someone else. So I think you are not an asshole. You are not one to blame. You gave it your all. You tried not once, but twice. But this guy just isn't worth it. At this rate, he's honestly going to get you depressed. So I think you did good. Do not unblock him. Stay away from him. That is all I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, it would mean a lot if you could like the video. It tells YouTube it's a good video. And if you didn't enjoy it or have some issue with it, I would love to hear it in the comments so we can resolve it in the future. Bye bye.